All right. Today, what we're going to make is a standalone Fogponics system. And we're going to try and do it for under $15. So, we'll start out with the 7.5 gallon Sterilite container. It's a Walmart item. And it sells for approximately $6.50. Then you got the fog emitters. Now I picked these up on eBay and they're about three dollars and fifty cents a piece. Okay. Now the other item that you can pick up on eBay is these little they're not called pond pumps, they're fountain pumps. And they're very inexpensive. There you can pick these up on eBay too in twelve volt version for I think they're three dollars and sixty cents a piece and then what you do is you put a small diameter hose on it I use landscape hose because you don't want the tube itself to be very large in size because the smaller the size the higher the column of water it can pump up now if you leave the regular larger diameter on there it's not going to go more than a foot with doing it like this you can go a foot and a half two foot now the other item that I'm using is just an old coffee can and this is what I've if you've seen any of my other videos these are what I use to make my foggy meters and all it is, is a coffee can got two inch PVC piece of pipe in there preset and drill a hole in the bottom and you press it through and it pretty much seals itself but you can put a little caulking around like I did just to make sure it's sealed you put a little 3 8 hole and that's for your water hose and you put a 3 quarter inch hole and that's for the grommet that's on your fog emitter okay right here and that's so everything gets sealed in. Now for this, all we're going to put in here is a three-inch net pot. That's all we're going to need because basically all your root system is underneath. Now what we're going to do is we're going to lay this out. We're going to lay out our holes on top here. I'm going to put three-inch pot over here and set the fog emitter up probably right there. Okay, so be right back with that. All right, we've laid the top out, and I already drilled the center holes, okay? So now I'm going to drill these out, and I'm using a hole saw, which you do in reverse. The reason that I drill the center holes first is just to put them through with the drill bit by itself, okay? But drill these in reverse, it makes a much cleaner hole. By the way, if you are going to do hydroponics, you need to get some of these in different sizes. For your different pots it makes a world of difference makes everything a lot easier and a lot neater okay so what we do is put this in reverse and put that down in there and you slow All right, here we are. We're going to do the the other one. All right. So now that we got those drilled, let's check fit. Okay. There's my three-inch pot, and as you see, that fits pretty good. What we'll do is we'll trim around the edges here a little, just make it all nice and neat. Okay. And then over here for the fog emitter, that is going to fit just like that, okay? So basically, this is going to be how your setup is going to work, all right? Now let me move on to the next section, and I'll keep you updated there. All right, so now all the holes are drilled. We got the net pot. We got this one for the fog emitter. Right here, this is for the pump. This is for the line going in and the water line coming up to the fog emitter. 
All right, drilled these out about three quarters of an inch. And what I'm going to do is use some grommets off of some old foggy emitters to plug those holes. All right, next step. All right, so here's what we end up with. We ran the pump hose up through here and the pump cord up through here, put the grommets around them. We got inside here is my foggy emitter. And we ran the hose from the pump into the side of that canister. And under here is your fog. Okay, hold on a second. Take that. Take that. And see the fog coming out. Okay. So this is what you end up with. Okay, $15. Holds five gallons of solution. You can do like my other system, and if this is going to be outside, I would make the bottom kind of a Dutch bucket, filling the bottom half of perlite and protecting the pump so it doesn't get clogged. But uh, just like this, it can be run inside and get some great results. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. See you next week. To the town's highest hill I said good luck, now blow where you will Watch it for long till I could hardly see Hope it has some better luck than me You can't get enough for your dollar anymore Would you kindly show yourself to that door Nothing in your belly if you're the working poor Oh yeah, yeah, yeah